Today, we will be recreating Karaba's look inspired by the animation feature film Kiriku and the Sorceress, based on an African folktale. Karaba is the sorceress and the main antagonist of the film that takes place in a little African village. A village Karaba has cursed, causing the spring to dry up and the men of the village to mysteriously disappear. The villagers think that she has killed these men by eating them. To give you some context, the film starts with the birth of a baby boy named Kariku. Tiny Kariku is unique. He can speak and walk immediately. In fact, he practically walks out of his mother's womb, cuts his own umbilical cord, and even names himself. From there, his mother tells him all about Karaba, the evil sorceress who has a deep hatred of men. He is keen to get rid of Karaba's curse on the village and understand why she is evil. So he sets off to help the last warrior defeat her. He manages to trick Karaba and save his village, but he isn't able to defeat her. He visits the wise man of the mountain, who reveals why Karaba is so evil. She is cursed by a poisonous thorn, driven into her spine when a mob of village men raped the beautiful young woman and forced her on her back. The pain of this poisonous thorn has transformed Karaba into an evil sorceress over time. The pain and the poisonous thorn symbolize the real pain <laughs> Karaba feels after going through and surviving this horrible ordeal. The aftermath of sexual abuse can be shattering, and recovering can be a painful process. The impact of sexual violence goes far beyond physical trauma. The way Karaba isolates herself from the rest of the villagers reflects the sense of exile and alienation Karaba experiences. She feels like the village isn't a safe place, and that she cannot trust the other villagers, especially the men. Upon learning the truth about Karaba's evilness and why she has such hatred towards men, he manages to trick the sorceress once more, but this time it is to remove the poisonous thorn from her back, freeing her from her curse. Karaba kisses Kiriku, whose own spell is then broken, and he is transformed into a beautiful young man. And not long after, the missing men, who had been turned into the sorceress's watchmen, reappear, revealing to everyone that Karaba didn't, in fact, devour them at all. <laughs> <laughs>